Hi, welcome to this web tips and tricks video. Uh, these are going to be a series of short videos where I'm going to be showing you small things that you can do to your website to improve them. Uh, well, hopefully, anyway. I hope that I hope the these do help. Uh, for this uh, tip, web tip and trick, we're going to need. I'm just well, you don't need, but I'm going to be using two HTML documents, page one and page two. Uh, now let's go into these two uh, HTML documents. So, basically, it's just a basic HTML page. I've added some uh, CSS uh, styling just to make it uh, look a bit nicer for this video. And uh, the only real style, the bit of code we're going to be concentrating on is uh, overflow y uh, scroll. Um, so, let's just demonstrate what this is all about. So here I'm on page one in my web browser. As you can see, we have links to page one and page two. This is some preview text to show how the text shifts when we change from page uh, page two without the overflow. Right, okay. So I've probably written that wrong, but that doesn't matter. Um, so basically, if you have a HTML page on your website which doesn't have much text like this, and you can't sc scroll down, uh, there's no way to. And then people on your website link, uh, click a link that will take you to another web page on your site, which now has this scroll. Now, if you look carefully, you'll notice that it does actually shift slightly. And when you have uh, a lot more text and a lot more images and content, it is much more noticeable and, for me, quite annoying because when it comes to web design, I'm quite. Um, uh, pixel perfect, should we say, or uh, everything has to be quite precise and have it its own place. So shifting like this can really get on my nerves. So to um, solve this, uh, there's a little piece of code that you can use. So we're going to be putting it in page. We'll be, we'll be putting it in both in page one. That's the one. Uh, uh, hold on. Yep, there we go. So if we go into page one here, we're going to go into our body, under our body, ignore all the other styling, this is just so it looks good for the video. We're going to type overflow dash y and then scroll. And we get this. Let's save that and go back to page one and refresh. So now as you can see, it just moved. Uh, that's because it's put the uh, scroll bar in. So basically, the overflow y scroll means that it shows the scroll bar whether it can be used or not. So even if you can't scroll down the page, it will show it. So then, when we move to page two, which can be scrolled, there is no shifting, there is no movement. But the, obviously, the scroll bar changes, so now you can scroll down the page like that. Um, and I know most websites are full of content and probably won't need this feature but this is for smaller websites maybe you're doing a little project that doesn't have much text on the front page and has other pages with loads of content uh, but these are just little web tips and tricks that you, you can use uh, and you know it's only a small bit of code so you can put it in there just in case uh, yeah so thanks for watching, I hope this helps, and uh, look out for more web tips and tricks videos. Thanks for watching.